Alright, welcome back for the first time. I'm unreliable. There's a dog eating a bone behind me as well, so we'll just try and ignore that. I always wondered what would happen if we fought Carol Franz versus Colex Sunita. And then I thought, why don't I just do it? So let's find out. Um, I gave Carol Franz a death claw. It costs 500. Colex 500 more than Carol Franz, so I'm assuming that evens out. Um, maybe I should just wait on my abilities actually. Opening up, because no Colex doesn't have any. It's just heading straight for me. He gives no shits. Am I quicker than him? Um, his speed's 80. I didn't realise it was so quick. My speed's 100. Because I can fly. Um, it doesn't feel like 100. I'm not going to lie. Um, also, I'm not sure what kind of equipment our guys have, so I'm assuming they're both just level 1 as well. And we'll use... Deadly Onslaught. And hold the line. Um, that can't be right. Oh, because we've got a charge on him. So it really just depends who gets the charge. Look how much health he's lost. That feels impossible. We annihilated him. Um, oh, well, actually, look at our health as well. No, I say that. that. Did that give us charge damage? Charge bonus. Damn, I should have used that. Hmm, this is very interesting. I really didn't think this was going to happen at all. This is on hard as well. I think we might turn up to very hard after this, just to make sure that... Oh, there we go. Yeah. And we'll... If I click rematch, hopefully it won't just... No, it was probably just going to load up the same game. We lost less than half our health, because we were able to just zerg straight in and get him. Um, let's turn it on... Very hard. Uh, we'll leave the same map as well. Let's make sure Colec doesn't have any disadvantages. He can't have anything else, can he? Definitely costs 2,000. Carl Franz costs 1,500. I think it's the fact that Colec lacks any abilities. Saying that, I can see abilities for him, so what the hell am I talking about? Is this Colec's on it or I? It does have stand and die. You know what, we'll play this one more on uh, very hard. Make sure it's actually the charge that makes all the difference, and then we'll play as Colec and we'll see if we can kill Carl, Carl Franz, because <laughs> the fact that uh, Carol Franz has got that 20 speed on him and he can fly is quite an advantage here. Problem is, whenever I play online, I tend to land and then get surrounded and then be unable to take off again. That seems to be my biggest dilemma. Um, well, he has abilities as well, so we'll just go straight in and we'll attack him. Not that this is a dumb fight or anything. Literally, just swoop him right in. And we'll just take a wee screenshot as well. Um, ooh, okay, we both took a bunch of damage. 300. Hold in. Oh, I'm still winning this fight, we'll use all our abilities. I feel like I've lost way more than him. I might actually lose this one now, yeah, I'm going to lose. What, what happened? Was it just I didn't wait on abilities? Hmm, maybe I should get a charge again, we'll run away and we'll try and get another charge in on him. Come on. There we go. Damn it, we're outed. Let's take a rematch at that and try that again. Was that really just because it was on very hard? Hmm. We're we'll going to claim it's because we don't have abilities. Um, this dog's lying on its back, uh, holding the bone in between its paws, chewing on it. It's making quite a wee bit of noise as well. Then, all right, we'll try this again now. Uh, we need about 27 seconds, so. We'll try and come round on him. See if he just stood straight towards me. I'm assuming he can't attack me while I'm flying, so. I, I caused terror, but I'm pretty sure it can't be feared. For Sigma for Glory, is that really...? Okay, thank you, I guess, for telling me. Um, oh, the dog's pinned the bone against the, the corner of the wall now, so it's got leverage on it. Right, right, anyway, so we'll stop in the finish of the dog, and we will get ready to use uh, dead, uh, Deadly Onslaught and whatever the hell the other one's called. There we go. And... He's down to 3,900 already. Oh. Yeah, you've got that bone, you tell it. Um, we can't use any of our other abilities yet. We're actually winning now, but... I feel like I'm missing a lot more. Hmm. Was it really just luck that we won the first time? What is it we put on him? Minus 8 leadership, okay. Yeah, we're going to run away. Quickly run. God damn, he's got some range. Right, so even if we get a charge on him, I don't... Right, wait, he ran away again. What the shit just happened there? Alright, okay. So we'll play as Colec. We'll put Carol Franz on very hard. We'll see if the same thing persists there. Does it really make that much of a difference? We got his health down a bit full last time, but... I think uh, what we're realising is that we might have to charge and then run away to get maximum effect, but... I'm not too keen on that idea, to be honest. Um, no, oh, we'll play that army. Get him Carol Franz and Deathclaw. Deathclaw is quite an intimidating opponent, but 
it's like it's, it's actually just a mount. It's like literally just a mount, but still, it's quite. I like that a lot. I like the fact that even mounts can be epic now. Um, we'll reposition the dog's bone for it. There we go, and we'll start the battle. Right, so I literally can't attack him yet. So we'll just we have all the same abilities as him, pretty much. Um, he's swooping towards us. We'll just start bouncing towards him at full speed. And. There we go, cl clicking on him. There we go. What the hell's going on? Attack? Um, okay. You bring destruction. Could you please bring that destruction? Use full seeker as well. It turns out we actually have less abilities than Carol Friends. Um, I don't. What is going on here? Oh, good. Good, I was going to say, I don't feel like uh, I'm losing health at the same rate that uh, the enemy was losing health when he was doing it to me, the AI. I mean, um... Oh no, we're going to win just the same. Hmm. We can actually use standard die as well. That'll uh, pretty much guarantee the victory for us. And call in a storm right there. Oh no, I'm routing. No, we still win. We just modelled them. We've still got 1,500 health, so a bit less than what he had. We'll rematch just to make sure again. So it is relatively decisive, that first victory was just... Somehow I got that. I must have just hurt more than him, so is he get a chance to avoid? Or is it just his defence that's so great? I think Chuck Carol Franz would have such an advantage with the duelist ability, but... Colic Sanity is beyond all mortal reckoning. Okay. I thought it was what he shouted, but apparently it's not. The bonus will run away a wee bit because we'll let um, Standard die uh, killed in as much as possible. He's quite a bit quicker than me. That lightning ability as well, Lord of the Storm's really nice. Weak versus single combatant, so maybe I shouldn't use it. But it's just nice that he's actually got an ability like that. Um, the Ancient Shadow Ghost summon forces a lightning to strike down his prey. I like the fact that they're a wacky ancient race as well that's just been woke up because of chaos. That's nice that they didn't die, they actually just went to sleep for a while. What about the shit? Four Seeker. Get him. Deadly Onslaught. Jesus, every swing. It's just his weapon's so huge, it's pretty much impossible to miss. That's him down to 3,000 already. 2,600. It takes quite a while to swing right enough. I think uh, Carol Franz may get... Oh, Jesus, Carol Franz is doing a bunch of damage. We won't bother using the Lord of the Storm crap. Um, melee defence is way, way up. Is that because we used this ability? Yeah, it is. What the shit? Hmm. Decisive defeat this time. It seems to be relatively even, but more dependent on what difficulty you put it on. <laughs> so I don't know what that means for online play. Um, I might try and get someone to just play as... Uh, that'd be an interesting, just a hero fight. I've never seen that before. You know what, we'll do one last game with Saragoth. Uh, with Colec, just to be sure. I'd really like to... Uh, make sure that it's really the AI difficulty that actually depends more than uh, the heroes playing because I don't think we've got an objective view of who's better. Um, saying that but this does look cool as shit so we're going to wait and I'm walking by. Got any screenshot of that. There you go. That was goddamn beautiful. Get him. Right. I'm down to 4k already. He's at 3,500. I'm at 3.5, he's at 3k. I fell over, I feel like. Um, he's at 2-5, I'm at 3-5. I fell over again. He's at 2, I'm still at 3-5, so I should comfortably win this one. So maybe it's actually a toss-up, so I didn't I just I'm glad I played this last game. So it isn't so much the AI, it's just who hits and who misses. There's a lot of random luck going on between these two heroes fighting. But again, this is at the most basic level. Like you can't uh, upgrade them outside that thing that you can't put them up ranks. I don't even think heroes actually got ranks, they've got levels, so that makes sense. Yeah, we smashed them into dust here. We've still got 2,200, so I think last time we had 1,500. He runs away. Is he falling over? What is going on there? Alright, oh, is he priming to take a big massive hat? Oh well, you want to see more games like this. I, I think I might fight more heroes. I like that quite a lot. It seemed they were relatively balanced, but it didn't seem to make that much difference. Maybe it's because they didn't have an army. If you want to see more like this, like, comment, favourite, subscribe. Swing with a giant chaos hammer again for the next time.